Hey guys, Michael here with a new video. Yes, and today I'm doing, a, well, green screen, which is really cool, except it cuts my hands off and I'm not very good at green screen stuff. So, yeah, here I am inside the screen, which is really, really odd and a little bit unnerving, but I do feel quite professional because this is what all the professionals do, isn't it? They like sit inside the game, um, like I'm in the screen, which is really weird, except my hands get cut off and I feel, it feels weird. I can't, I've got no hands. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Uh, I better do some admin first of all. Thank you for, for checking out this video today. Do smash that thumbs up button. Uh, it really helps the channel. And uh, why not subscribe? Lots and lots of Star Citizen content. And come and join us in Discord. Link in the description below. Loads of really cool people there. Everybody willing to help out. And uh, we've got voice chats and we've got live streams there. And we've got a really good group of knowledgeable people. And a lot of new players as well, which uh, we're guiding and helping out. So if you want to be part of something come and join that it's a really cool vibe and i highly recommend it and i'm always there myself so it'd be nice to talk to you so um yeah that said <laughs> hello <laughs> um today we're looking at the freelancer max loadout my freelancer max loadout actually and uh you know there's a whole big debate about what the best ship is for rock mining and uh what the best loadout is for the best ships blah 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 and look there's no right or wrong answer okay there's just no right or wrong answer so my loadout is is my personal preference and you may disagree and that's absolutely fine um i'm gonna try and explain why i've gone with the loadout that i have and um i should point out this point that i should point out this point nice I should point out at this point that I'm not the biggest expert in all of this thing, all of these things. Um, I'm not a stats person, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, just to let you know, I'm using Urkel Dot Games uh, as a, which is a calculator, a DPS calculator. So it's, uh, it, it's available for free, and you can find it. I'll put a link in the description as well, so you can do your own loadouts. So let's talk about this. I'm going to do it in categories and I'm going to break it down one by one. So we're going to start off with weapons. And the weapons is, is the least important thing on this loadout because my philosophy on this is you need to be able to just get away. Just get away. We're not going to engage. We're not going to, we're in a freelancer max and we're rock mining. If we get attacked or griefed or what have you, you just want to get away and you want to buy yourself some time to be able to do that. So while we do have weapons on this freelancer max, I'd say it's the least important thing and uh, therefore we shouldn't really focus on it too much. I've gone with the Mantis GT220s. Uh, they are ballistic Gatling guns and I've got two of them. And the reason why I've gone for those is because they are rapid fire. They're their DPS is really high for what they are, 1600. And that means that they can do some damage. However, the downside of that is that you don't have a lot of ammo. So your ammo max per gun is at 530, which means that you can run out very, very quickly. So these, these weapons are designed to do maximum damage in a short space of time to, give, to buy you the time to get away what you can't do with these guns is go into a battle and you certainly can't do xeno threat or, or or bounty missions on these on these guns it just it's just they're, they're no no good for that at all uh, in terms of the weapons themselves where can i get them well let's have a little look let's have a little look here so you can buy these weapons um from the uh, ship's weapon shopping crew l5 for thirteen thousand five hundred times two of course and cousins crow in orison they're the cheapest options but you can also get them at center mass in both area 18 and new babbage for 15 786 uh, a u e c in terms of the turret well, the Freelancer Max has one turret and I've kitted it out with a very similar gun. So I've gone with the Scorpion GT215 and I just felt that I wanted some consistency across all of my guns. So again, they're ballistic Gatlins. Again, they're going to cause some decent sustained damage, but you are going to run out of ammo very, very quickly. But that's OK. You know, we're not we're not we're, we're not a fighting ship. OK, so we're just looking to buy ourselves some time while we can power up the QT drive or whatever. So in terms of where you can get the turret gun, uh, ship's weapons shop, her L3, her L4 and Orison, 7,850. Uh, you only need one of these, of course, and then center mass, area 18 and new Babbage for 9179. So you can buy these weapons together, I think, in the same location, and that makes it nice and easy. The turret on, on a Freelancer Max is, is not great, so 
you know, these these weapons are not going to help you uh, hugely. You know, you're talking about size threes, and and then the Scorpion the GT215 is a size two, so you you're not going to do any major damage with these guns. Let's talk missiles. Now, missiles are quite important because quite often when you're rock mining, you'll get NPCs attack you, attack you while you're dropping into the planet or you're flying through the space. And, and that's happened to me more than I've been sort of pirated and griefed on the surface, on the planet's surface. So I've gone with a consistency of having the same missiles across my ship. Now, the Freelancer Max can hold, I believe, I want to say six or seven missiles. I think six. So I've gone with, yeah, six. So I've gone with Thunderbolt 3s. They're size, threes mis size 3 missiles. They do give you quite a lot of damage. It's, it's pretty good. They're, they're very good, actually. You can kill an N NPC with them if you just wrap, if you just target and fire them off, say, three or four of them, you'll destroy an NPC. So the Thunderbolt 3s are pretty decent. You can find them pretty much anywhere, to be honest. They're, they're at uh, the ship's weapons uh, shops, the dumpers depots and the centre masses. Her L2, Grim Hex, Port Olasar, Area 18, New Babbage. You can see the price differences here for each one. You Generally, if you go to the centre mass stores, uh, they are a bit more expensive. The positive side of going to those, if you don't mind spending that little bit extra, everything's under one roof. So you can kind of buy the, all of your weapons in one go. What I tend to do is I'll go to her L2 and I'll just stockpile a load of these missiles and then I'll take them to my wherever I need to take them to and I'll just load out each time. Again, we're lovers, not fighters, because we're rock miners, right? We're, uh, you know, we're not going to be engaging as such. But they're really good little missiles to have on your wings in case, in case you do get into an NPC problem. Um, I've killed, I've killed players with these, uh, with these Thunderbolt threes as well, protecting myself. They are decent, and the combination of the Thunderbolt threes to hurt them, and if they come in closer, you've got limited firepower with the Mantis as well those two that, that combination can be pretty decent as well at least for self-defense it's all about self-defense now come the more important things and i would really stress that you need these items i have gone with two sets of fr76 military grade a shields now these will put a massive signature on your ship and that's okay because we're not going to be doing stealth like i said before you cannot do stealth in a freelancer max while pinging uh, looking for hadonite or what have you so Forget stealth, it's all about getting away, having the best possible shields, the best possible QT drive, and that's what we've got here. So the the FR76, uh, they're quite expensive, probably one of the best you can get. You can get them at Platinum Bay, Dumper's Depot, or Cousins Crow, 38,250, and you need to times two that because you've got two slots there. The benefits of the FR76 uh, military grade, the Paul HP is the highest level, which means that it takes the most punishment and it's uh, it's got a pretty slow regen speed but it's not significant enough to be a problem so the shields essentially will take a bit of a battering it's enough to get away and that's what you want so the fr76 is my recommendations for those so we want to we want to have a decent power plant right so the genoa is industrial i've gone with industrial grade and i just felt that i just felt that the power having the best possible power was the way to go to be able to uh, handle the uh, callers, the quantum drive, and the higher than normal shields. So I've gone pure power, the best you can get. And uh, okay, you're sacrificing a bit of HP, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, so I've gone with the Genoa. The way you can get the Genoas is Platinum Bay, Everest Harbour, or Omega Pro, New Babbage. Look at the price here 150,000. Because the power is quite important. It's basically like your battery, it's your battery of your ship, it's the power of your ship. Without that, you're, you're just dead in the water so you really got to go with the highest possible quality that you can and that's what I've done so in terms of callers I've gone with two lots of snow packs the snow packs for me are uh, I just I like the the cooling rate is so high on them and I like that I really like that it feels good and, and you've got a decent HP on them as well to be honest with you they're much over much the power request time is the lowest out of all of them I sacrificed a bit of HP and I went with the snow packs you might go with the others I don't know but that's what I did in terms of where you can get the snow packs, Dumpers Depot, Area 18, Platinum Bay, Crew L1, and Omega Pro New Babbage, 82,900 times two. 
yeah it's expensive guys it's expensive you know to kit out a freelancer max what's the freelance max 2.1 million and then you're probably spending another 300,000 plus on top of that to kit it out and you have to don't go with standard stock modules you will just get destroyed and also the quantum drive would be a nightmare right speaking of quantum drives nice I've gone with the XL1 military grade. Now I'm offsetting speed and power with fuel guzzling <laughs> because it guzzles fuel. You may as well just take some quant, pour it over yourself, drink it, throw it around, set fire to it. Turn it upside, turn the tank a bit upside down, just pour it on the floor, spread it around with your feet, have a hole in your tank. I just, I don't know what I'm, I have no idea what I'm saying. So yeah, military grade, grade A again. And uh, I, honestly, I, I couldn't do without this. What, what, what are you getting here? You're getting speed, 260,000 XL1 military grade, real good speed. You're sacrificing maximum distance. You're sacrificing a bit of efficiency, which means it's gonna cost you more money. You're gonna have to refuel more than, than some of the others, but you wanna get away and you wanna get away fast. So I've gone with the XL1, the quickest quantum drive in the game for the Freelancer Max right now. Where can we get the uh, XL1, I hear you ask? Cousins Crow Orison or Platinum Bay Port Tressler, 94,900. I know this is uh, this is a lot of money. This is a lot of money, but it's worth it, right? Paint jobs, we won't talk about it. I've got a limited edition Freelancer 2951, auspicious red ram livery paint. Those that watch live streams, which I regularly do with the Freelancer Max, will see that paint on there. They'll know what it is. It's kind of like a red paint with a, with a gold trim. I love it. And that brings us finally over to the thrusters, which is locked in place. There's nothing to do about this. This is as it is default. So the, the only other thing to look at really is the power priority. I've pulled a little bit away from the guns because, you know, we're lovers not fighters and i put more towards kind of power and shields and i just i just feel that that's probably the best setup for me yeah and that's it really I, what do you think of this setup do you think it's good do you think it's bad what would you switch out i'd be interested to hear but bearing in mind my freelancer max is only used for gem mining let me know what you thought about that in the comments section below give us a little thumbs up definitely consider a sneaky sub for more star citizen content and why haven't you joined us in discord yet link in the description below and check out this website it's great by the way i've got all of my ships uh, saved out on all of the, all of the four slots because i've only got four ships i'm a pauper thank you so much for watching hope this has been a, a good video if you'd like to see more videos like this on this style with me looking really ill on a, on a green screen then let me know have a good one i'll see you in the next video bye bye, bye, -bye.